What's up guys, Sahaman Man back, and today we're gonna be putting together King Shark from McFarlane Toys, the Suicide Squad. This is the bath, so there is a Walmart exclusive. Well, that already comes built, and I think he, I believe he does come with different color swimming trunks. He comes with a gold label base, like a little display base, and then he also has some limbs. Um, that's pretty much the difference, so you don't have to buy all of the figures. So this is him right here. I'm so happy to put this guy together. Uh, he does have a ball joint right there, so let's go ahead and pop him in. There's a bottom right over here. So sometimes his McFarlane Build-A-Figures can be really tough. Okay, he went in very easy. Oh, man. See, one thing, okay. I don't like the gaps that they use that they have right here. I wish it would have gone down a little lower, but you only see it if you really have if you have them look at that. If you have them like look up, you can see that huge gap right there. But oh my god, he looks so cool. He is a very wide looking figure. He's not too like large, I guess you can say, but he's a very bulky figure. So let's get a little bit of a close up with him. On the back over here, you have the fin which is kind of sharp. You have his gills on the side and then you have the head sculpt. You can see there's little dots and, nos and you have the nostrils right there. Um, you have the mouth. So if you close the mouth, you can keep them completely closed the mouth. And if you push right here, you can open the mouth and then you open that and then you have the tongue and you can also see the different layers of teeth and then you have his black eyes right there which look pretty cool you can also see the gills on this side uh, the color of him he has like a dark gray in the back and a little bit of light in the front so you have his hands you got the four webbed fingers so you can see how cool that is and then right there on the side you can see the other you know the top side of the hand right here on the back he does have a massive back look at that very bulky looking figure and then you have his lower shorts you can see they're like checkered blue shorts and they're soft uh, material and at the bottom you have the three toes which are webbed as well and then there's the side and then right there on the bottom he does have peg holes so I like how this guy looks, man. We're gonna, we'll do some size comparisons here in a second, but let's go ahead and go over the articulation for King Shark. So the head sculpt does rotate. It does go up and down. You can see it is on a ball joint there. And then uh, the mouth does open, like I said. And then the arms do go in and out. Can also go forward and back. He does have a bend at the elbow, lower arm rotation. He does have a hand hinge. And you can rotate the hand as well so you can get him into that like kind of like pose where he's waving you know i mean i would be cool if they had like an interchangeable hand where he's pointing so you can you know do when he does the hand but um they didn't include any interchangeable parts he does have upper waist rotation and then a slight ab crunch and then lower leg rotate or lower waist rotation the legs kind of go in and out not too much it's it is hindered by the shorts uh, they don't go forward and back it does seem like I don't know. I can't tell if he has a bend at the knee. I don't want to break it, but he does have a toe articulation and then the foot can go up and down. He's got that whole ankle pivot, but I really want to know if he does have a bend at the knee. It kind of looks like he does, but I mean, you're not really going to get much out of it because of the shorts. So right here, we have him side by side next to some bath characters, and he is taller than the Dark Father, and he is taller than Bane. Bane is obviously a little bit more wider, and I think it has to do with the the arms, how the, the way they're, they're sculpted, or the way they're popped in. But there's a little bit of size comparisons with other baths. And then right over here, we have him next to the McFarlane Dark Side and Steppenwolf, and they're both taller than King Shark. And right here, guys, we have him standing next to the Suicide Squad team. So this is the full wave that completes King Shark. Now, for me, it was a decent wave. I was really happy with the way John Cena, the Peacemaker's figure, looks. But the joints on him are terrible. Um, Harley Quinn, the same thing. The joints on her are terrible. The head sculpt it doesn't really look like her. And I wish they would have given her that white pale skin. I would say... The uh, Bloodsport character of the figure looks great. I just wish he would have had guns. And Polka Dot Man was actually a really good figure as well. Now, I'm hoping we get more characters from this line. We need a Rat Catcher 2. We definitely need a Captain Boomerang. We need a Rick Flag. There's there's like tons of other characters that they can give us from the Suicide Squad. because And then we need a Viola Davis as well, Waller. We need that character as well. I think that's an important character that we would need from the McFarlane Suicide Squad line. But let me know in the comments down below, guys. What do you think about this set? Is it a pickup? Is it a pass? Did you watch the Suicide Squad movie? And if so, what did you think? And what other characters would you like them to make from this film? Thumbs up the video. We will see you guys soon. Later.